Well, I believe I'm finished. This is the uh, finished product. It says everything that I believe the Lord wanted me to say. I thought I'd give you a closer look. See the clouds. I really like the way the wave came out, the way it's piling up against the rock face over there. Interesting in the way it, it flows down into the canyon. You can see the, the quasi superheroes being swept away here. And there's the remnant of the Lord. God's people and uh, I believe a representative of the peoples of the world not just the church here their arms upraised in worship to the Lord their God hidden in the cleft of the rock as uh, I take for granted that most people know what the cleft of the rock is where Moses went up on the mountain to receive the law. He asked the Lord that he could see him. He wanted to see the Lord face to face. And the Lord said, no man can see me face to face and live. But I'll hide you and place in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand and then I'll pass by and you can see my hinder parts. And it was in that place hidden in the cleft of the rock that Moses received the revelation of the whole, uh, well, much of the New Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers in Deuteronomy, the Judges, and um, I'm not quite sure of the others. That's a lot to remember. And the cleft of the rock is still a very uh, special place. David talks about in the Psalms of the rock of the Lord rock of our salvation, our shelter, our hiding place in Him. And this is the hiding place that we found. It's not a, a literal place, it's a state of being in the presence of the Lord, to be continually in His presence, relying on His Word. His Word is our rock, His Word is our foundation. His word is what we hold on to, the, the anchor the, for our soul against the lies and deception of the world that surround us. And these uh, liars and cheaters here represented in my painting. We're living in a world of lies right now, I can tell you that. You cannot trust any media. But you better be relying on the Lord or you're going to be deceived. But those days are coming to an end because the wave of righteous justice is coming. It's rising even now. And it's coming to sweep away the liars, the cheaters, the perverts, those who have perverted the justice in our, uh, of our nation, in our constitution, to serve their own purposes. It's going to sweep them away and expose the foundations of their power. Destroy the infrastructure that has supported them. 
I believe this angel, this uh, wave is a wave of, uh, yeah, like I said, it's righteous justice of the Lord. But I believe it's going to be a wave of angelic warriors sent to do the will of the Father, cleanse our lands in response to the prayers of his saints hidden in the cleft of the rock. So hold fast, my brothers and sisters. Hold fast to the word. Trust in His Word and worship Him, praise Him. Seek Him with all your heart while He can, while he can be found. Lord, yes, release your army of angels, Lord. Come, sweep across our land, a mighty wave of righteous justice. Sweep away the liars and the cheaters, the thieves that have tried to steal our nation and the nations of the world who seek to destroy humanity, these haters of men. They seek, they pose as the righteous and they are the haters. They pose as the peacekeepers concerned with the rights of the people and they're the thieves and the cheaters who are stealing the rights of the people and seek only to destroy them, to get them out of the way so that they can live the life of power that they desire. It's not going to be so. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I received this vision um, in January 2020, shortly after uh, January 6th, and I could see all this stuff coming down, and I was very troubled and uh, had a dream in the middle of the night. Usually they happen around 3 a.m., and it was so vivid, so stark when I saw it. That's why I'm able to recall it. I've, I've, Posted this on uh, in Facebook and different different places many times, but never had much of a response. But that's all right. I'm not talking to people. And when the Lord gives you a vision like this, a lot of times it's just in my case to speak it into the atmosphere, to speak it in faith, and to hold on to it. And now I believe it's time for the manifestation. And he impressed upon me to paint this painting to uh, to bring it in. As I've said before, I'm a prophetic artist, I, which means simply that I I paint what I see the Lord showing me, and I believe it has a relevance that uh, it goes far beyond words. So it was important for me to get this painting done at this time. This is uh, today is January, January, July 9th, 2022. So this is not meant to be a work of fine art. This was just a representation of a vision received. I, uh, I always try to do the best I can, but uh, I'm not a fine artist. I'm an accidental artist. <laughs> the Lord seems to give me the grace to work through my own inadequacies as an artist. I enjoy my paintings. I hope I hope you do too. I hope you can see the relevance of this in today's world.
let me get a different shot here. Maybe you can see some of the texture there. Um, this is getting kind of long, so I am going to end it. I just wanted this to be a, a, a final revelation, a final uh, installment of this painting. Now I'll get to the editing process and uh, get it out there. Thank you. Uh, God bless you and uh, God bless you. Praise the Lord.